Welcome back to Brick Gaming Wajio. Today I'm here with a combo video for my Theron Dragon deck. So today I'm just going to do some combos, show off the deck. This might be a two part video depending on how long the combos take. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, it would mean a lot if you guys did. It would help out the channel, the community, and myself to continue making content and providing more. And also thank you guys for our 150 subscribers. Every single one of you helped out this channel grow. And I want to see this channel grow further. And I want to make the goal of 1,000 subscribers by August of next year. So by doing so, that would mean a lot. And... 150 subs. Thank you guys so much. So let's get into this deck. The only change I made was adding in Chaos Speed Charger. Outside of that, the deck is exactly the same. Not really too much. It's 45 cards now. One more card. I know that some people don't like playing decks over 40, but with the deck, you kind of have to because you have so many monsters that can't be normal summoned, and there's it, it just makes the deck m more consistent in a way where you're not getting as many brick cams. And even if you do get brick hands, as you'll see, um, this deck can still do a lot. And let me shuffle up in front of you guys. Boom. Get this deck shuffled. And I'm just going to run through a couple of combos. And hopefully this will go well. So our opening hand is not bad. Not bad at all. This is actually pretty nice. This is everything you really want to see in a Thunder Dragon hand. For the most part. So I will start off with opening get a search now if you really want to bait out in the gates you could technically start off with chaos space but for every single combo i'm just going to uh basically treat it as my opponent not having any in the gate so we're going to normal summon him out get him to the field dark beckoning beast use his effect to go ahead and search we're going to go ahead and grab our chaos summoning beast grab him to our hand then we're going to use additional normal summon summoning him out then we're going to wink down into me one second into a wink rebo summon out wink rebo oops this might be out of frame just by a little bit so give me one second so i'm going to move all of this down there we go everything is now in frame uh then we're going to of course next go off and use um opening i would probably i, I feel like it's actually fine to discard thorn dragon fusion you play two in the deck and yeah i think this is fine so you're going to summon out summoning uh chaos summoning from here, I would then go ahead and wink three. With this particular hand, I think it's best to go for Bardiche at this point. And I think it's really good for that reason. So we'll summon out Bardiche, then activate Bardiche. We're going to get our, of course, our two fog blades. So I'm going to put these up here. But basically, you're going to set one and then get the other one by getting your, give me one second. Basically, you're just going to send your silent boots, and then you're going to grab your other fog blade. Just want to do that right off the bat. It deck thins your, it gives you some deck thinning ability. So I'm just going to put this one here, and add the other one to hand. So now you have four cards in hand and three cards on field. Obviously, you can't link off Bardiche, but that's fine for this so far. Then I'm going to go ahead and activate Chaos Space, and I will be discarding off my other Dragon Roar or the one Dragon Roar in hand, and I'll go ahead and grab a Chaos Valkyria. So she's going to go to your hand, and from here, you have plenty of options. Because you have these three cards in hand, so you're going to just get a whole bunch of summons. First off, I would special summon Chaos Valkyria out by banishing Dragon War from my graveyard. So putting that off to the side, then I'm going to summon her out. Then from there, his effect will now activate of Dragon War, and you will go ahead and special summon your, or yeah, Dragon War, summon Dragon Dark from deck. So now you have three monsters on field, two cards in hand. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and banish off my one Dark Beckoning Beast from my graveyard to special summon down Collapse Serpent. Then from there I'm going to link to Dragon Dark and Collapse Serpent. This will allow me to chain block the searches just in case your opponent hasn't ashed anything yet. But allows you to block it because Collapse Serpent is the less useful of the ones right now. So you're going to get both of their searches off. The one off of Dragon Dark and one off of Collapse Serpent. So I'm going to go ahead and grab off of Dragon Dark. First, I'm going to grab the other copy of Thorn Dragon Fusion. And then off of uh, Collapse Serpent, we're going to go ahead and grab his opposite, which will be uh, the Wyver Buster. So all three of these cards are now in hand. 
So you have these three cards in hand, and this is what your field looks like as of so far. Then we're going to go ahead and banish off Collapse Serpent to Special Summon down the Wyver Buster. And now at this point, you could make... I, I actually think it's fine if you made Appaloosa at this point, to be honest. Because, I mean, you could definitely use IP on your opponent's turn, make um, Appaloosa on their turn. But I think it might just be better to go ahead and show this. Because basically this is what you're going to do on your opponent's turn. You're going to most likely make Appaloosa. So let's just say you do make Appaloosa. Because this is what you most likely will do. So you're going to summon her out. Get your search off of Viber Buster. Oh wait, not yet. Oops, guys. Almost did that out of order. My bad. So first, we're going to go ahead and use Chaos Base Engrave. Banishing it to put back Collapse Serpent. So I'm going to shuffle my deck real fast. Put Collapse Serpent back at the bottom. Super, super easy. Super feels super good. Gain that back in, so we're going to be able to get searched. Then we're going to draw one. I drew into e -Telly. Now, at this point, I don't think e -Telly really does anything until next turn. Just based upon how the field looks, there's not really easy way to go ahead and make your level 8 guy. Um, at least I don't see an easy way. Um, thinking. Hmm. Yeah, there's no easy way to make your level 8 guy yet, so you're just going to hold on to the, um, yeah, you're just going to hold on to East Alley and summon out your Appaloosa. Then you're going to get your search off of Wyver Buster, and then, of course, Appaloosa will be three materials. So, she'll have three monster negates. So, you're going to be able to go ahead and search out for your Collapse Serpent. Oh, oops. Still, yeah, there we go. So, Collapse Serpent will go to hand. Now you have four cards in hand again. Not really, you're not going to really get any Titan pops this turn, it seemingly, but actually, can you even make Titan? No, you can't make Titan yet. But you do get the um, additional searches off of this hand, and you're going to be able to make Titan during the next turn. And even though this hand is pretty decent, you're going to still, it's decent. You're going to have a total of five negates. You're going to have two Fog Blades. That Palooza. Then for your next turn, you're going to have this setup. You're going to have your Collapse Serpent Rego. You're going to have your Thunder Dragon Fusion. Then you're going to also have Thunder Dragon Fusion Grave, which you can get a search off of. So you're going to get a plus one search. And you're going to, based upon this hand, you're going to draw into Battery Man Solar next. And then you can also have Monster Reborn in case Mon uh, Bardish leaves the field. Now, this is a hand where it wasn't very um, Thunder Dragon heavy, which is fine. Which is fine. Sure, it might be a little bit more preferable to have a more Thunder Dragon heavy hand, and you could probably do... You, you can make Curious off of this hand. It just seemed like, based upon what the rest of the hand looks like, it might not have been worth it to make Curious at that time. But that's just a simple, easy starting hand, easy combo. Nothing too complex there. Okay, I'm going to shuffle up and then do another hand. And I'm, I'm going to try to keep this video under 20 minutes. If... That means that there's going to be a part two. There's going to be a part two if it if I run out of time. And I will let you guys know about that. Because that's kind of how it always seems. And part two will be more like um, basic combos versus test hands. So this is kind of more like a test hand video. The next one can be basic combos. Or if you guys want to see more test hands, that's also fine. I'll leave it up to you guys. Just let me know what you guys want to see. So we're going to shuffle up. Cut the deck. And let's see the opening five. So... Man, I opened... Okay, this hand seems way too similar to last hand. I'm going to shuffle a little bit better. I'm going to shuffle a little bit better, guys. Um, yeah, that, that hand was like literally the same exact hand, except for maybe like one or two card difference. So you basically do the same exact thing. It's a little bit of a brick hand, but you can still do stuff with it. I always see full combo ending on IP plus uh, Fog Blade, at least. But, yeah, let's get a little bit more bear shuffled hand going. Go ahead and cut my deck. And, yeah, this is a brick hand. And it also looks really similar to the cards I was using. But, this is still fine. Uh, you're not going to really do very much with this hand. Honestly, I don't really think it's really worthwhile playing this hand out. If you're going second, though, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to actually, like, legit when we shuffle up now. I'm going to do a power shuffle real fast. Just so this time it's actually randomized. I'm sorry, guys. This this is not preferable. But, you know, it happens. It happens when you cannot shuffle cards. Which is unfortunate. Because shuffling is super difficult. It's 
Oh, it's so hard to shuffle your deck. Okay, let's see. Alright, this looks different enough. Okay, I can work with this hand. This hand is definitely workable. So, obviously you're going to run through your Thunder Dragon real fast. No one's ever going to ash this. I have... Actually, no. I I'm wrong about that. <laughs> That's actually an incorrect statement. I have had someone ash my Thunder Dragon before. And it wasn't even with Tyson on the field either. Which is, yeah. I don't want you to get free free advantage. Because if I was going to search two and then do like some other combo, I'm like... No, that's, that's, that's not what we do. So I'm going to banish Thunder Dragon, special summon down Collapse Serpent, banish the other Thunder Dragon, special to summon down Chaos Valkyria. Then we'll wink two. Summon out. Hmm. Let's see, what do I want to summon out? I think I'm going to go for a IP Mascarena, summoning her out. And that is all the way up there, but. Basically, you're just going to summon out IP. There we go. Uh, then you're going to use Black Dragon Collapse Serpent Engrave. Go ahead and get yourself a search. You're going to go ahead and grab a Wyvern Buster. So now you have four cards in hand again. Now I'm going to banish both of these from Grave. Special Summoning Down Chaos Creator. Summon him out. Then, of course, activate his effect. Playing back one. Well, selecting one. Hmm. Oh yeah, and also Valkyria. My bad, guys. You're going to use Valkyria, of course, to get your ditch. And I would ditch to Grave Dragon Roar. That, I, I think that's just the most best generic answer. But then I'm going to use Chaos Creator, and I will choose two Thunder Dragons and a Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. Um, I will then special summon back a Thunder Dragon to my side of the field, and then put these at the bottom of my deck. From there, I could link up even further. I mean, at this point, I think the standard play, if you were playing Dragoon, would be to start making your vertes and stuff. But no, we, we, we don't do that here. Now, your options, in my opinion, are either going, if you want, oh, you want to go deeper into your deck, you could make Bardiche, or you can make Appaloosa. I'm trying to see if there's a way to make something else. I don't think there's any better options, so I think I'm going to go with, hmm, I think Appaloosa puts in more work just because you already have a Fog Blade in hand, so yeah, I'm going to link for summon out Appaloosa, give her three materials, then I will, hmm, I will probably just weave at this, at this point, saying one, and then I would probably end my turn from there. It's not really the best. It's it's pretty mediocre, but you still have four negates. And I'm, I'm not the guy who's going to complain about having four negates. Um, I, I think it's pretty worthwhile. And also, there's some um, interesting ideas I've heard um, just from other people who have talked about this deck. Because there's this really cool build out there with dangers and light swarms that I've been talking to the guy about in the comment section. And he kind of inspired me for that type of build to put in Royal Decrees and a bunch of Sun cards in the side deck. That way, during my opponent's turn, uh, if I go first, of course, during my opponent's turn, I can just flood gate them out and for, prevent pretty much 90%, eh, maybe about 50 to 90% of negates, depending on what type of deck they're playing. And it could just completely shut down your opponent if you just see one of those cards. So, for example, he was recommending uh, Anti Spell and. Um, oh, and Imperial Order, and I tried out uh, both of those, including Royal Decree, and it was actually pretty nice. It, it felt good. It felt good when you could draw those off of Saryuja. Yeah, shout out to that guy. Really, really cool stuff that he suggested, and yeah. Okay, let's see, next hand. Okay, this is what I would consider, consider a pretty nuts hand. Uh, this is actually pretty busted. I see a lot of stuff you can do here. So I'm going to summon out Dark Beckoning, Dark Beckoning Effect. Go ahead and grab the level one guy. Yeah, this this hand is comboicious, bruh. Uh, <laughs> this this hand's nuts. Okay, so I'm going to then go ahead and summon out chaos. Or wait, actually first, uh, gotta go grab the continuous spell. Also, no, I did not make these mistakes at locals. I I'm the big think guy, so <laughs> I'm going to activate opening. I I think pretty hard about my plays. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Get Chaos Summoning Beast. Um, then I'm going to use my additional normal summon. Summoning out Chaos Summoning 
beast. And from there, hmm, how do I want to do this? What's the best way to do this? Because I know I can get all my thunder dragons out. I just need to see. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. I have a good idea of how I'm going to do this. Uh, Summoning out Wink Kariba. I see a really cool combo path I'm going to take. It's not going to be like the, the additional combo with this deck, but it's going to be something kind of interesting. So then I'm going to use my opening, summoning back Chaos Summoning Beast. It's basically going to be like a really similar ending board to what it normally is, but it's like going way deeper into your deck. Then I'm going to go ahead and activate Emergency Teleport. Going ahead and special summoning out Cyframe Gamma. From there, I will go ahead and use Dragonhawk Reborning Dragon Dark. And then, let's see, so do that. And yeah, just need to think this play out first. Then I'm going to summon him out by synchroing eight. So this will be three plus five, so that'll be eight. Synchro 8 into Chaos Roar, go Chaos Roar, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Dragon Dark. And for Dragon Dark, I'm just going to go with something relatively generic. And I think on the generic end, I will definitely be going for... Now I could go Dragon Matrix, because I'm almost guaranteed to get good meals. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Dragon Matrix. Then I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up my deck. And of course, use... King now using Chaos Ruler. And the reason I'm grabbing Dragon, Dragon Matrix is it's almost guaranteed that you're going to mill three Thunder Dragon monsters. So let's see. Then I'm going to go ahead, grab a cut. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is definitely workable. So in this case, I would probably go for let me check my grave real fast. Honestly, I think it's best to go with a Levianir at this point. So I'm going to add Levianir to hand off of uh, Chaos Roar. Now the, now you just got so much advantage off of that one one simple play. Then I'm going to check my Greater Guards. Let's see how many darks I have. Do I have enough darks? No, it's not, not enough quite yet. So then I'm going to go ahead and link three. I'm not going to use Kyria. I'm not going to go into Kyria. I'm going to go into Bardish since I didn't mill in the Phantom Knight stuff. So summing out Bardish. Then I will be using Bardish Effect to basically grab my to basically grab my double fog plate. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I, I accidentally knocked over uh, the tripod. That, that is very unfortunate. But basically, I'm gonna grab the double fog plate. Uh, of course, banishing off Silent Boots in tandem with that. So Silent Boots is now banished. So one fog blade is in hand, one is on field. Oh, let me re-center this camera. Okay, there we go, perfect. So now you have one and one. Then, oh wow, this actually is a way better camera angle. I just made this video like five times better. Yeah, so yeah, grabbing fog blade, fog blade's down on your side of the field, I'm just gonna leave it face up. Then I'm going to go ahead and banish three darks from my grave. So I'm gonna banish out dark beckoning. Let's see, then I'm going to also banish out Dragon Roar. And finally, I'm going to banish out, hmm, I guess in this case, I'm going to kind of have to, ooh, actually, this will be sick. I'm going to banish out Wink Karibo. Banishing three. Then I will special summon him down. And I will go Chain Link 1, his effect, Chain Link 2, Dragon Roar, or wait, no, Chain Link 1, Dragon Roar, Chain Link 2, Levianir, and yeah, that should be pretty much Gucci. So I will go ahead, and I'll just special summon out Generic Thunder Dragon, and then you've hand looped your opponent for one. So there's now one card out of their hand, which always feels good, hand looping your opponent for one. And of course, this is ignoring hand traps, but you're basically going to do the same thing with or without hand traps. Uh, because you can definitely figure out ways. Oh my gosh, my, my tripod is just kind of kind of in the way of my hands, it seems like. But you're going to summon now, loop one card out of your opponent's hand. Then from there, you can now use. Whew, I'm going to now use Chaos Space Engrave, putting back the Link Karibo into my extra deck. 
and I'm going to get one draw from my deck. So I'm going to shuffle up my deck real fast and get that sweet draw one. And the one card I will be drawing into will be another Chaos Space. All right, all right, so that'll be good set for next turn. Uh, then I'm going to link two, these two off into, of course, my IP Mascarina set for next turn. Then I will go ahead and use my Thunder Dragon Fusion at this point. Actually, no, no. Actually, let me think about this. I can still use Chaos Space. So I'm going to activate Chaos Space, ditching Dragon Matrix. Going ahead, and I will search out for... Oh, God, I have a lot of banished monsters. Ooh, this is getting spicy. I'm going to go ahead and search out for the Chaos Creator. Then I'm going to banish one Dragon Matrix. And let's just say, because I could get more sap off the next turn with this, one Levy near from Grave. And then I can special summon down Chaos Creator, summon him down using uh, Dragon Matrix in Banish. Since it was Banish, I can now go ahead and search for another Dragon Matrix. So I'm back up to three cards in hand. Then I can activate Chaos Creator, going ahead and I would probably choose one, two, three, because I have way more Thunder Dragons in Grave. Yeah, I have plenty of Thunder Dragons in Grave. And I will summon out my Dragon Roar, and I'll put the other two on the bottom of my deck. Then I can activate, uh, now I can finally activate Thunder Dragon Fusion. Going ahead, nothing left in Banish, but I can shuffle back pretty much the majority of my graveyard. So I can shuffle back, let's see, Dragonhawk, and then the two double, uh, two, two just normal Thunder Dragons back into deck. So, yeah, then we can go ahead and summon out of course, not in this zone, nothing here because in case your opponent's playing Nima, you want to play around Nima. So you're going to just summon him out in the far zone. So just remember that this zone's open, the one right under the extra monster zone. And then you'll be able to set one and you'll be good for next turn. So let me go over this quick ending board real fast. Um, in, uh, first off, you have two guaranteed negates with Fog Blade. You've hand looped your opponent for one. Now getting into interactions, you can reborn Bardiche potentially on your opponent's turn. You have a uh, pop with Dire Dragon Titan, and you have IP Mascarena. And your options include, but are not limited to, Linkross, Phoenix, Cerberus, Appaloosa, and. Oh yeah, and Nightmare Unicorn on your opponent's turn. I would most likely go with Appaloosa. As soon as my opponent try to activate any type of disruption or try and pop the board, I would go into Appaloosa. And then I would have three more negates. So you have a potential of five negates with a total of two interruptions. And then also you'll have Dragon Roar if it hits Grave or is banished. You'll get specials with another Thunder Dragon from your deck. So you could just have even more than what I just said. This deck is broken. If you guys want to see a part two, please let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.